Wouldn't it be great if ChatGPT just seamlessly integrated with all the shortcuts across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac? Well, now it does. The literal sage of shortcuts, Federico Vitici over at Mac Stories, has now created a shortcut that integrates with the ChatGPT API so you can interact with ChatGPT within a shortcut on any of your Apple devices, and it's amazing. I'll show you how I've integrated it in some of my shortcuts in a minute. To start the whole process, first, definitely go to the Mac Stories article where Federico explains the entire process, and again, just incredible work that he has done here. That'll be the top link in the video description. Then head over to platform.openai.com. Here you can set up an account and you'll also need to set up billing. And this is apart from that $20 a month ChatGPT Plus plan. You actually need to do this kind of limit billing because it's using the API rather than just straight ChatGPT. After you set up your payment method, you can go over to API keys, create a new secret key, and that's what you'll use to set up the shortcut the first time on your Apple devices. Once you set it up once, it'll sync to all your Apple devices and you can use it anywhere. I've actually placed the shortcut right here on the home screen of my iPad. If I tap it, it will run this ChatGPT and automatically show me a prompt. In this text box, I can type in anything I would normally put into ChatGPT. For instance, I can ask it to write a limerick about the iPhone 12 camera. You can judge its poetic ability, but right here on my iPad, I'm running ChatGPT, getting a result, and this shortcut even allows you to continue the conversation and you can keep typing, getting more prompts, all right here without ever leaving the shortcuts interface. This is incredible. And if you're wondering if this costs a lot of money using the API billing, you can set a maximum spend limit in the OpenAI platform. I've set mine just at $30 per month, but I've already been running these shortcuts a few dozen times as I've been trying to set them up and test, and I've only spent one cent all day. So you're probably not gonna have to spend too much unless you're using it like 24 seven. One of the ways I've been trying to use AI more is taking the articles that I might be talking about on a show and automatically generate titles and descriptions from the headlines of those articles. It's been pretty laborious trying to either get those into ChatGPT or Notion AI, but now that Vitici has gotten this into shortcuts, I can integrate it into the shortcut workflow I'm already using for my show notes and generate those titles and descriptions right here in the shortcut. This right here is actually one of the biggest shortcuts that I use. And what it will do is take a long string of text, either copy to the clipboard or via the share sheet, get the titles from those Safari articles, and basically format it so I can use it as show notes. This shortcut even allows me to choose who my co-host is, will adjust the contact information accordingly, and it runs several shortcuts within this shortcut, like for sponsors, where I can choose the sponsors for that week and it will automatically pull in the call to action verbiage. Now I've added a couple steps using the SGPT shortcut and it will take the same headlines I was already formatting, and then ChatGPT will actually give me recommendations for titles and descriptions. There might be a cleaner way to do this, but what I have right now is actually a text box with the prompt that I want to use in ChatGPT. It's pulling in all the article headlines using this part of the shortcut. It copies it to my clipboard, which you'll see me paste into the GPT interface, and then it sets that as a variable for my show notes later. Here in this Apple note where I've kept all the links that we're gonna talk about on the show, I'm gonna select it all and then tap the share sheet. Here you'll see the shortcut in the share sheet menu and I can run it right from here. It's formatting all the URLs, the article titles and the links into HTML. And now you'll see the first prompt for ChatGPT. I've actually already pasted using the shortcut for my prompt and you'll see it here. Create a 40 word description based on the headlines. It automatically pulled in the headline and article titles from the shortcut. I can hit done. Now ChatGPT is actually running in the background to generate that description. There it is, I can hit done. I wanna export that. I adjusted Vitici shortcut to automatically put export chat because that's required in order to get the text output from that chat GPT shortcut. And from here, I'm gonna do copy latest response. I have the shortcut getting the pasteboard and now the second prompt is for the title. You'll see I've said write a 15 word episode title, SEO optimized, hit done. Pretty great title actually. I'll hit done. It goes onto the clipboard. I do wanna export that. Now it's asking me for a number. This is actually how many sponsors are part of this episode. Let's say I have one sponsor. I choose it from this list. We'll say Masterclass. It'll ask who my co-host was for this episode. I'll put William. And now it puts me over to Bear because this is where I do any final formatting on my notes. And if I just hit paste right here, it has all the formatted show notes, including the title and episode description generated by ChatGPT. Plus it has the contact information for me and my co-host, has all the links formatted here in HTML and everything is ready. My entire show notes are complete, even with title and description. That probably took me about 30 to 40 minutes to just figure out the integration and put it in a shortcut I was already using, but that is incredibly powerful. And now you can have that kind of AI power in any shortcut that you create. This also synced to all my Apple devices, so I can run this on my Mac, iPad, and iPhone. And since ChatGPT doesn't have an app yet for mobile devices, you can use the web browser and that does pretty well. 
I would much prefer just running a shortcut from the home screen of my devices or even in the menu on my Mac, and now I have ChatGPT everywhere. So Federico Vitici, thank you for your incredibly hard work on this shortcut. What an amazing resource, and he's giving it away totally for free. You can just download it. Again, the top link in the description will be his article on MacStories.net. Be sure to check it out, get the shortcut, and I would love to know how you would be using these in your shortcuts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.